We now need to see nothing less than a new contract forged between the police and the public. This means root and branch reforms to improve policing to ensure the Met can deliver the basics better. It means an overhaul of disciplinary processes and it means systemic change to the Met's culture. I don't want any candidate to fail when they apply for a job. Uh, so this speech was aimed at a number of people. It was aimed at Londoners, so they know that I get it. It was aimed at those uh, police officers and police staff who work incredibly hard for them to know that I recognise that they're brave, they're dedicated, they're, they're decent. Uh, and I hear them when they say they're disgusted at what they've seen in, in, in the recent uh, path. Uh, but also I'm an ally in relation to the recent past being uh, changed. It was aimed at, yeah, the, the two candidates applying to be commissioner to understand what my expectations are if they want my support in this process. The, the legislation is quite clear. Home Secretary appoints after having due regard to my views. Uh, and, you know, if you're going to be the commissioner, you need to understand the bar that Londoners are setting for the next commissioner. They can't be the same as the last one. I want to make crystal clear today. I won't support the appointment of a new commissioner unless they can demonstrate they understand the true extent of the cultural and organisational problems within the Met.